Welcome back to the Disgruntled uh, Sports Fan Channel. Um, discussing today La Liga and a little bit of the Super Copa or the Copa del Rey, excuse me. Um, but uh, to keep bringing you back up to date, um, first La Liga. <sighs> right now, um, Atlético Madrid, uh, 82 points. Real Madrid have leapfrogged uh, the Catalan. Um, team uh, with 79 and uh, Barcelona at 78 for the La Liga title race um, first of all uh, Real Madrid they uh, hosted uh, Almeria and uh, no Ronaldo still after that uh, injury his, uh, I think it was his knee um, Ancelotti's played it safe there's a lot of big games coming up and Madrid has been in good form so He's been resting him, uh, what I presume is for the Champions League uh, against Bayern Munich, which we'll talk about later on. Um, but, uh, yeah, they did great at, uh, against Almeria. They went 4-0. Uh, Di Maria opened up the score, and I think it was like the 27th minute. And um, Almeria played decent at the beginning. I thought it was going to be one of those games where they draw it out. Um, but Di Maria opened up. Um, I believe Bale scored uh, a few minutes after, and then a goal by Isco, and then later on Morata, who came on, um, closed out the game. They moved up to 79 points, um, which had them tied for first, but just for Saturday, because uh, Atletico Madrid had to play the next day. Um, speaking of them, they played, uh, Atletico Madrid played Getafe. They won 2-0 on the road. Um, scary moment in the second half. Uh... Diego, uh, Diego Costa, he scored a goal, but as he was shooting, I guess he like kind of dove for it. He collided with the post. Um, it looked really, really bad, and there was a lot, there was blood and stuff. But luckily, uh, the next day, they found out that it was just a gash and it was just a small knock. So he'll be ready for Champions League, which is good. You know, you always want to see teams uh, do well, um, and. Yeah, they're they're still in first. They, I I don't see them dropping any more games. If I'm honest, um, I know they have a game at the end of the season against Barcelona. But if Barcelona isn't in, if they're not in uh, a chance to win the t the title, I won't be surprised if Tata just rests all his usual starters and plays his you know the, the youth and even calls some guys up from the Barça B because they. On any day, any fan will say they'd rather any team but Real Madrid win the, the league title. So, um, Speaking of Barcelona, another horrible loss. It's been a really bad week, um, including yesterday, the Copa del Rey final. They, they basically, I mean, it's only four points, but I think they've, they've lost all four title, uh, or all three uh, title chances they had. Uh, got bounced out of the Champions League by Atletico Madrid, who deserved it. They played really well, and props to them. Um, <clears throat> La Liga, they, they lost to Granada. They couldn't create anything. They, they had so many opportunities, but they just couldn't convert. And Heta, uh, Hetafe, or Granada had maybe one or two, and they, they, they converted, you know. No defenders. I mean, we have Bartra, uh, which I'm glad played yesterday in the Copa del Rey, but... Other than that, everyone's injured. Or... Mascherano is a great player, but he's he's too short to play as a center back, and he's become more of a liability than, you know, something we can count on. You know, and it's not his fault. He's playing out of position, so you can't hate on him for that. Um, you know, we don't really have a replacement for Puyol. I mean, you can't replace him, but we need somebody that can run, uh, organize the team, attack my or defensive minded, and it was great in the air for set pieces, and they need that. So going forward, um, I don't know what they're going to do with that transfer ban. Hopefully they can delay it or something, but they need help there. Um, so that after that loss, they go to 78 points. Um, and, uh, yeah, just demoralizing loss. That one, the Champions League, and, and the, the loss yesterday. Um, other matches, oh, the Sevilla Derby, um, Real Betis are definitely going to be relegated now. They hosted uh, they hosted Sevilla. They played really well at the beginning. 
but they're eventually broken down. Uh, a penalty uh, that Carlos Baca, the Colombian, uh, got for them that was then uh, converted by the uh, the new guy uh, Kevin Gramedo, the the French uh, the French kid that came over from PSG, playing his first year, um, and then later on uh, he scored from a cross. They won two zero. They're now at fifty six points. Uh, so only six points behind Atletico Bilbao to uh, for that last Champions League spot. So they're still putting the pressure on for that one. Um, and then Atletico Bilbao, which I don't know if anybody's noticed, but they've gotten the shaft all year. They get they have to play all their games on Monday. I don't know why, but um, yeah, they uh, they went to they hosted uh, Malaga. Willy Caballero, which is usually a really good goalkeeper for Malaga, between uh, in the post or. Yeah, between the, the posts, he had a pretty off game. Um, Bilbao, they scored uh, early on, and then uh, Herrera closed it out for them. Bilbao trying to qualify uh, for the Champions League, first time I think it's in 18 years. So they're at 62 points, Sevilla 56, so it's going to be a really close race, especially coming into the next week's fixtures. Um, they go to the Camp Nou to play Barcelona. Barcelona trying to stay till in the title race. Bilbao trying to you know get that secure that last Champions League spot. So it's going to be a good game. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't even say there's a clear favorite. Barcelona are playing really really bad right now. Probably the worst I've seen them play in I don't know like seven or eight years. So um, that's anybody's game really. If they want, you know, whoever's hungrier, and I got to say that if you say Bilbao's going to win, I wouldn't be surprised if they do, so. Um, some other games, uh, Real Madrid gets a week off. They make it up, I think, in two weeks on a Wednesday against uh, Valladolid, or however you say that. Um, they open, uh, but on Friday, La Liga opens up, uh, I think Madrid host Elche, which at the Calderon, that should be, that should be a win for them, I don't see them losing that. Um, Sevilla traveled to Granada. Granada played great on on against Barcelona, so that will be a closer game than usual. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, close La Liga race, still a lot of a um, lot of implications at the top. So looking forward to it. Uh, the uh, big game, the Camp Nou, uh, Barcelona Atlético Bilbao, uh, three p.m. Sunday on BN Sports. So make sure you watch it. Peace.